In this video, we'll be talking about central versus peripheral tolerance in context of the immune system. This is a high yield topic for USMLE step one, so stay tuned till the end. Immune tolerance is broadly divided into two subgroups. Immune tolerance is a mechanism by which immune system ensures that there is no autoreactive T cells or B cells that can harm the own body. There is central tolerance and peripheral tolerance mechanism. Central tolerance occurs during the development of the immune cells and it happens within the thymus or in the bone marrow for the B cells. That means all the mechanisms are happening in the primary lymphoid organs. Whereas peripheral tolerance operate in the peripheral tissues like lymph node or in the circulation. So moral of the story is central tolerance happens primarily in the lymphoid organ during the time of T cell and B cell development. Whereas peripheral tolerance happens when the cells escape central tolerance and it's kind of like a fail safe mechanism and it happens in the periphery or in the peripheral tissues. Now let's talk about the mechanisms underlying central uh, tolerance and peripheral tolerance. So negative selection ensures self tolerance of T cells in the thymus. In a moment we would be elaborating on that. In case of peripheral tolerance, there are suppressive T cells known as T regulatory cells which can prevent autoreactive T cell formation. There are mechanisms known as clonal energy. There are mechanisms known as peripheral deletion, which eliminates autoreactive cells from the periphery. Now let's delve into details. Now we are at the thymus, which is the, uh, which is the school for T cells. T cells develop in the thymus and the thymocytes present self antigens to the T cells. T cells should supposed to detect these antigens. If they cannot detect antigen as T cells, they are futile. But in cases where T cell detect the self antigen with very high affinity, that is detrimental. Those cases are eliminated by apoptosis. And this is known as the negative selection mechanism that operates in the thymus. Just like T cells, B cells can also recognize self antigens during its immature B cell stage where the B cell receptor is supposed to recognize antigens. Now autoreactive B cells are those cells which recognize self antigen with very high affinity. So that is why they have to be eliminated with apoptosis and in case of B cells there is one thing that happens that is known as receptor editing. In this case the B cell receptor is completely changed and it is ensured that the affinity towards self antigen is low. Only then these non-reactive B cells can survive. So now we understand be it T cells or be it B cells. In both the cases, central tolerance eliminates all the autoreactive immune cells and thereby protecting our body. Now we are moving towards peripheral tolerance. Remember, peripheral tolerance happens outside the primary lymphoid organ. So when self-reactive T cells somehow escape the central tolerance mechanism, it is ensured that there is another fail safe mechanism, which is the peripheral tolerance, which can operate and delete these uh, autoreactive cells. So it's kind of like an immune checkpoint. There are many players and molecules which are involved in this process. One of the key player is T regulatory cell. T regulatory cell secretes inhibitory cytokines or anti-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin 10 TGF beta which renders the T cell inactive. Also T regulatory cell upregulate interleukin 2 receptors which scavenge most of the interleukin which is necessary for the T cell activation thereby depriving those cells from cytokines and thereby the T cell becomes inactive or energic. There could be also inhibitory receptors such as CTLA-4, BTLA, etc., whose interaction with which who, whose interaction with the antigen-presenting cell actually ensures the inactivity of the antigen-presenting cell. If the antigen-presenting cell is inactive, then further T cell activation cannot happen. Also, sometimes it is known that T regulatory cell secretes perforin and granzyme that might lead to apoptosis of that autoreactive T cells. Many of the mechanisms 
regarding this T cell peripheral tolerance is new and this is de in detail covered in Kubi's Immunology 7th edition. But anyway, it is important to know that the T cells undergo a process known as clonal deletion. That means one particular clone of the T cell would be eliminated and other T helper cell clone would remain. In this case, you can see there are bluish uh, T cells and the greenish T cells. These bluish T cells would be selectively eliminated. They cannot get activated af upon re-stimulation and the activity probability becomes very low. But it is not true for or generalized for the entire immune system. Other T cells which recognize some other antigen for example, these green ones, they would be activated. They have no harm in terms of getting activation. So that tells us this peripheral tolerance mechanism is extremely specific. Now there are also activation induced death of the T cell. Uh, I mean, there are negative stimulation. There are lack of IL-2 induction. These two factors lead to upregulation of pro-apoptotic genes in the T cells. That lead to its destruction. Also, T regulatory cells secretes perforin granzyme. There could be fast ligand and fast interaction that might lead to apoptosis. Ultimately, the result is elimination of autoreactive cells. Just like T cells, B cells can also be autoreactive. So B cell uh, activation happens in the lymph node. And in this case, there are two dedicated signal which is important for the B cell activation. Once activated, it can clonally expand and, trans and there are processes like affinity maturation, class switching, which lead to the differentiation of the B cell into an antibody secreting plasma cell. Imagine these antibodies are autoreactive antibodies, so that would be detrimental for our body, right? So that is why when T cells are basically eliminated from the system, which are autoreactive, B cells cannot be activated. But anyway, there are many other mechanisms by which B cell activation and antibody production can be abrogated. These are peripheral to tolerance mechanism. So just like T cells, B cell can also undergo energy or apoptosis when there is auto activation of the B cells. But even after all these cells escape both central and peripheral tolerance. This is almost impossible to overcome, but some cases this lead to autoimmune disorders. So failure of central and peripheral tolerance is the key cause of autoimmune disorders. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.